Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today's video will be a weekly wrap up. I haven't done one in actually like a couple of weeks. So the books that I'm about to show you are ones that I have read in the first two, read slash finished in the first two weeks of April. Um, I didn't read a lot in March, but the ones that I did and that I didn't put in a weekly wrap up, I did reviews for, so you still get to see what I was reading at the time. So I have read, let's see, six books in the first two weeks of April, so let's get into them. The first one I read was A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. This book was the book club pick for the month of March. Yes, March, <laughs> yeah. And I started it in March and then I finished it in April, so therefore it is in this weekly wrap up. I gave this book four out of five stars. If you want to hear my full thoughts about this book, I did a review for it, so I will leave a link to that review down below. The next book I actually started in March and then finished in April, and it is As I Lay Dying by William Faulkner. I had to read this for one of my courses that I am taking here at college, and I did not like this book at all. I gave it one out of five stars. I did not connect with any of the characters. I could care less about the story. The story is literally about a family who are taking their dead mother slash wife and burying her. That's like the premise of the story. That's pretty much it. And it is narrated through the perspectives of the people in the story, like the friends and the family. It's narrated through their perspectives and each chapter is with a different character name so you know who you're going to be reading from and I just I hated it. I did not like it. I had my sister read some of it out loud to me because it was way more enjoyable that way and I was laughing hysterically at the ridic ridiculousness of it all so yeah didn't like it at all. Hated it. The next book I also started in March and then finished in April. It is another one of the books I had to read for college. It is The House of the Spirits by Isabel Allende. This one is very, very similar to 100 Years of Solitude. Like, it has pretty much the exact same premise. And, except, whereas I liked 100 Years of Solitude, I did not like this book. I couldn't even finish the last 100 pages of the book. I skimmed through it and I looked up on Spark Notes, <laughs> which that's really bad because I had to read this for school, but I, I could not finish it. I couldn't get into it. I didn't like it. Gave it one out of five stars. I, I apologize to anybody who likes this book. I just don't like it. <laughs> the next one I read in April was The Fifth Wave by Ricky Yancey. I got this in my book haul when I went to Barnes & Noble and I'll leave that link down below too as well as the vlog video that I did of going to Barnes & Noble. It was a lot of fun. You should watch them because yay. <laughs> the fifth wave is about a girl who is pretty much surviving an alien invasion and she wants to find her little brother and she meets people along the way and just things go down and it is so perfect. I love the characters. I love Evan Walker. He's probably one of my favorite characters ever. I love him and Ben Parrish. Uh, He's okay. I like Evan better, but just overall the characters are really enjoyable. Even the bad guys, like, you hate them, but it's like a good kind of hate because, like, you are supposed to hate them and I'm glad that I do, but it's, you, you know what I'm saying. Just, like, I love all the characters, including the bad guys, and I just flew through this book. It is, how long is this book? It's really freaking long, but I flew through it. Gave it five out of five stars. And then at, when I finish reading this, I'm like, I need to get the second book. Like, now. I don't care if it's not out in paper book. I need to get the second book. And I, I did. And it's later on in this weekly wrap-up. <laughs> the next book I read, I actually read it in a day. I'm going to say a day because I started it, like, after midnight the night before and then finished it that next morning day slash afternoon but it is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Piercing and I don't know why I didn't pick this up sooner. I got it for my birthday I think last year which was in November and I just didn't pick it up. I don't know why. I have no clue and I read it and it was amazing. I pretty much read it in one sitting after I read the, that previous night. I picked it up that afternoon and just read just read it and I finished it and it was glorious. There was this huge like plot twist. It's not so much a plot twist, 
but like I wasn't expecting it. I was completely wrong in my thoughts and I was like I had literally had to set the book down and be like what the heck just happened? What the heck just happened? My sister is stand like standing right there and I had to tell her everything. I'm like I can't like not say something about this. And so I love all the characters. I love Leah. She's a very strong heroine. I love her. And then there's also Caden and Rafe. <sighs> They're so glorious. I love them all. I love this book so much. Like, I'm dying to get my hands on the second book. It comes out June, July, somewhere around there. So I have a couple months to go, but I am dying. Like, I need it. I need it right now. It was so, so good. If you guys have not picked this up, please do because it is amazing. If you don't know what it's about, it's about a girl who is a princess. She, her name is Leah and on her wedding day she runs away because she does not want to marry someone she doesn't love. She didn't even meet the prince yet but she runs away and then she wants to live a simple life as a servant girl and then she meets a guy named Kadim and a guy named Ray. Also told through Leah's perspective, the assassin's perspective, and the prince's perspective. And it is just amazing. And I love it so much. I do. It's like my baby. Probably one of the best books I've read so far this year. Then the last book I have to show you is The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey, the second book in the Fifth Wave series. I went and I got this at Barnes & Nobles because it's only like literally five minutes from my college, which is awful, but... Yes, uh, I got this, and it's a lot shorter. I knew it was going to be a lot shorter. I couldn't wait, though. I really just wanted to figure out more and read more of this world, and I read it, and I was very disappointed. I gave it three out of five stars. I couldn't get into it. The first 100 pages, I, I couldn't do it. Like, it's just like, I don't even know why. It's just the writing seemed a little bland to me like it seemed like this book was rushed and it seemed like an unneeded book especially because it was only 300 pages and I really I'm gonna continue the series because the last one comes out when does it come out this year I want to say maybe in November like around there in the fall and it comes out then so I will continue because I want to figure out what happens I want to know but I don't know it was very disappointing to me I, three out of five stars. It's not bad, but it didn't live up to the first book at all. So there you go, guys. That was my weekly wrap-up for the first two weeks of the month of April. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please comment down below and tell me if you have read any of these books and what you have thought about them. I would love to know. Please like this video and subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye!